Chris. All righty, Mel. Wildwood Metro Park is a favorite for the trails, the manor house, and more. Now they're trying to refresh one of the areas that's just for the kids, but they can't do it without your help. Ryan Vetter is live out, out at Wildwood Metro Park with a little bit more information on this refreshing project, Ryan. You're right. It is refreshing, and it's actually refreshing standing right here in the Metro Park this morning. Uh, but the Pe Pepsi Refresh Project grant is what the Wildwood uh, Metro Park is trying to get. It's $250,000 that uh, will actually revamp this existing playground. It'll be more interactive for the kids. It's going to be really awesome. The thing is, you, you have to vote uh, for your Metro Park, and it's a nationwide competition, so there's a lot of competition for these guys. Uh, we are going to put a link on our website, WTWL.com, so you can get to the page where you need to vote. We're going to get that out right now. We're also going to rem remind you about it at the end of this. Uh, we're going to talk to John Z, who is the landscape architect out here. Um, Explain to me a little bit about what's going to go actually into this project. This, this is a playground on a much, much larger scale than, than what you see here, the normal, the standard, uh, uh, standard structure that you see will be much, much larger. We'll separate the five from the 12 year, five and 12 year old uh, structure and, and then the two to five year tot lot, we'll have that too. But we have ADA accessible um, sidewalks everywhere. Um, we're, we're going to manipulate the landform quite a bit, and, and this is a, a lot about planting. There will be uh, numerous uh, plantings done to kind of uh, blur the line between preserve and playground. Uh, maybe teach the kids a little bit about the Oak Openings region at the same time. So we're when, you, when you look at this, it's, like, it's almost like a park within a park, basically. It, to a great degree, you're, you're absolutely right. Um, a lot of people use these these playgrounds as their destination when they come to the preserve. So we have an opportunity here to actually teach people what's out here in the Oak Openings region. Uh, look right here, you can see what, and then we can show you out in the preserve. So it's very exciting. So it does, you know, looking at the drawings, you're still going to have your standard slide and swings, but you're, you're going to have the prairie lands and things like that. So it's going to be a lot more uh, for kids to do here. Absolutely, yes. Uh, phase one puts in the structures, a lot of the sidewalk, uh, a lot of the plantings uh, manipulates the topo, puts in some hills, hummocked areas, a sand dune. Um, phase two is something that we would love to see happen too. Eventually we'll have a water course through here, uh, a naturalized stream looking thing that uh, the kids can jump right in and get wet with their parents' permission. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> And, yeah. All right. Thanks, John. So, you know, like I said, Wildwood needs your help. you got to vote national competition, stiff competition. We're going to put a link on our website, WTOL.com, so you can get over there and, and click on and vote. You can vote once a day. Uh, so every day through the end of September, vote on this Pepsi Refresh Grant. And let's help Wildwood bring home $250,000 to get a nice place for the kids to play out here. Guys? Yeah, they sure know exactly what they would do though with the money, Ryan, if they do uh, get that. The plans look absolutely fantastic. The plans, they look really cool. Like, like I'd mentioned, it, it looks like a park inside of a park, but it's a special little place for kids, which is really cool. That is very cool. It's a new way to raise money for projects, evidently. Voting online, different contests. Vote, vote, vote now and vote often. You got it. That's... Thanks a lot, Ryan. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah, he and I were out there yesterday shooting a story, and it was just packed. Absolutely it's packed. This time of year, when you start to get that transition from that you know, extreme heat to the nice fall weather, definitely loads Folks up out. with people. Well, get your buff and your drive.